Good afternoon, this is Ray with OP Noobs covering E3 in Los Angeles 2017, PC Gaming by PC Gamers. I'm here with Derek Neal, executive producer of Maximum Games Extinction. Huge name here this week. Huge. I mean, placards everywhere. And we just saw a demo that looks amazing. Thank you for joining us. Yeah, glad to be here. We're super excited. When did you come in? Uh, I flew in Sunday morning. Yeah, we've been here setting up the booth, getting everything ready, getting it's a really big game, as you mentioned. There's some really big opponents, 150 feet tall. So we wanted to have a, a really big reveal to be able to show for you guys. So we've been setting that up since pretty early. That's a pretty good theme there. This is your, this isn't your first E3, is it? Oh, gosh, no. Uh, no, I've been in the video game industry since uh, early 2002. So I've gone to probably 10, 12 E3s, something like that. Is this your first E3 with the general public? Uh, also, no. Uh, well, yeah, maybe. maybe. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not actually sure, yeah. The demo was put together very nicely. It was very gracious of uh, Maximum Games to provide that to the studio, so, to the uh, press. Can you kind of explore on the, the, the more interesting features? There's so much there, there's so much material there. I'm looking at, we've got hookshot elements with Zelda, we've got double jump, we've got Ninja Gaiden-esque skill-based combat. Um, I've heard that there was melee. You've got Shadow of the Colossus. Just gigantic, almost eldritch goblins and or orcs or ogres. Um, yeah, ogres. There's so much going on in that game. So how did is this all you? Who the team set it around at a round table or? Well, so as with everything, it's a it's a huge production team. Uh, you know, there's 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 a bunch of prototypes and things, figured out what was working, what wasn't working, adjusted things to try and get the kind of gameplay where we wanted it. They did say that they were doing a lot of balancing. Yeah, I mean, that's certainly true. So the uh, uh, one of the core things, right, is that Iron Galaxy, as a developer, has a very strong pedigree when it comes to fighting games, right? They've worked on things like Killer Instinct and Dive Kick, Street Fighter 3 Third Strike Online Edition, Marvel vs. Capcom Origins, Darkstalkers Resurrection, on and on. Um, and so they have combat really thoroughly nailed. Like, these guys know combat. And so we've been doing a lot of exploratory stuff. And so a lot of the stuff that you see in there is the results of a lot of that initial exploration, taking all the stuff that worked the best polishing it up, making it look awesome, making it play awesome. Now we need to go back and make sure that everything is balanced and, you know, Avil as he is right now is tuned up to the max. You know, all of his abilities are, are super amazing. And, uh, but, you know, through the course of the campaign, you're going to have to earn some of that stuff. You're going to have to level it up and earn skill points in order to actually upgrade him to be able to move around like that in some of the situations. It did not look easy. Uh, the QA guy in there, he did a great job taking down two of them that were simultaneously attacking the village. Do you, it seems very intense gameplay, very intense gaming, but um, no current multiplayer? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'll address both those questions. Uh, so no multiplayer planned for right now. There are leaderboards and things, so you yes. can compete with other people that way. But uh, no like split-screen multiplayer or online multiplayer, those sorts of things. Right. Uh, maybe you know in the next one. Um, but to to address the other point about you know is the game hard? Is the game easy um, to fun. to move around in this stuff? The controls are actually super intuitive. All the buttons do what you expect them to do. It's pretty easy to pick it up and move around in some fairly complex ways. For example. Avil can run on anything. He can run on all of the building walls. He can run on the ogres themselves. He can climb on the building walls. Yeah, yeah. He can pull himself up over ledges, run horizontally along the walls, run vertically up them, kick off of things, bounce off of things. He can pull himself around with his grappling hook. So he's got all of these movement options. And if you sat down with the controller, you would probably find that using any individual one of those movement options was easy and intuitive. Interesting. Pro Sorry, go ahead. No. Interesting that you mentioned controller because it's also so it's being released on which platforms? Uh, PC, PS4, and Xbox One. I'm sorry, so you can finish your earlier point about the, uh, the handling. Right. Well, it's just that the hard part where the, the skill component really takes off and really becomes important is where you're chaining all of these different movement options together and you start recombining them to do really complex things, right? So for example, you can run horizontally along one wall, bounce off and start running horizontally along another wall, bounce off, land on an awning, bounce off of that, whip to a thing, pull yourself past it, air dash through, land on a tree branch, bounce off of that. And this is a very, like what I'm describing is not some ridiculous scenario that would never happen. This is, this is what the gameplay looks like, right? This this is actually what you saw when you were in there, how these things work. And it does take some skill and experience to be able to recombine all of these things together fluidly. But as you play the game, you'll get better and better and better at it. And by the end of it, you'll be moving around like, you know, Sunset Overdrive or something like that. 
So PC, PS4, and Xbox One. And that is aimed for release in 2018. Yeah, so early, we're saying Q1 2018, so early 2018. Uh, and people can learn more on Extinction.com or by following us on Twitter at, at ExtinctionMG. Extinction.com. Uh, Derek, thank you for joining us. We appreciate it. It's a beautiful game. It's it looks like it plays very well. Thank you.